Hi everyone, I hope you all see this coin Just going to dive into XRP. Once again, thank you for your continued support. Really do appreciate everything you do towards the growth of coins kid here. Thank you for taking us over to 80k subs. That's amazing. I really want to, you know, thank you personally for that. And uh, you taking the time out to watch this video, obviously, and actually engaging with the video, making them comments and likes and shares. And I do read every single comment. I spend a, a long time there reading every comment. I do, do try to get involved with the community there as well. I just want to thank you for all the really, really nice comments that you leave, okay? Really big thumbs up to all of you, helping Coins Kid grow into what it is, and the Telegram group, the, the Patreons, the admin team, it's all amazing, amazing, moving forward. So right now, brilliant, XRP is broken out of this key level of resistance right now on the 0.618 at $1.45, roughly around that area. So it's great, it's brilliant, okay? Marching onwards and upwards. Now we do need to see it march on because if it does start to roll back and falls back through that level of uh, resistance, okay? If, if it does start to roll back, I'm not saying it will, but do target if it does and loses it as support, this is called a throwback, basically. So it, it, it's, it doesn't necessarily invalidate the pattern because it can come back and do something like this and then come back and, and then carry out the pattern again it's just a little throwback sometimes you do get them they're quite common okay just because it's broken it doesn't mean it's a like 100 percent going to carry out the, the 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 pattern there you get throwbacks so it's part and parcel of it so that's that but so far so good we're broken out we're looking good and we we hit a bit of a plateau just there and we'll try and find that in a moment but we've hit a bit of a peak okay and we're starting to consolidate a little bit you can see the wick there is nice you've got more buying pressure at the bottom so that's good that's confluence to the fact that if we, if we zoom on the hourly we might yeah we've got some kind of ball flag going on right there which is good, which is good, because basically when you go up, you know, you can't go up forever and you start to see a bit of a sell off. And as long as you get supported and usually when you're coming back on yourself like that, that's indicative. It's, it's called a bull flag, basically. Hopefully, you know, we're looking at this little breakout just here starting to form. And again, th this is what I say to you. Look at the weekly, uh, look at the, the hourly EMA there. Look at that. So if you do start to fall, look where the, the EMA is. It's above the golden ratio. So as long as you can start now adhering to this EMA and falling on it as support and not losing it, what, what is it going to do? It's going to force you up, force you up, break this level of resistance, which is a key level as well, because that is like the last level before the retracement, isn't it? So if you keep adhering to it, look what happens, force you up, keep adhering to it, force you up, boom, you get there. So that's a really important thing. And you can see since down here, XRP has not lost the hourly EMAs. Look at that, look at that, beautiful. So if it continues to do so, if it continues to hold these EMAs, it's looking good. It's looking good. So effectively, if you've got a little ball flag on the go, just there like this, see this particular pattern like that, and it's starting to come like this in itself. You've got a little breakout target just there, but you don't want to see XRP get a little bit too overextended, okay? Because like I said to you, when things get a little bit too overextended, they can roll back and lose the EMAs. This is why you want to see it doing this. Going up nicely, consolidating, going sideways, back test and support. It just fell through there a little bit, but it was supported by the 55 on the hour, and you're in a bullish cross on the hourly as well. So this is why I sometimes zoom in on the hourly because you get a, a bit of a better judgment of what's going on. So you can see the EMAs are supporting XRP really, really well at the moment. It's super, super bullish from this bullish cross. It's back testing the support lines and holding the 050. Look at that bump. It's gone through multiple tests of support just there. So that's good. That's confidence to the fact that you're getting a high level of support starting to march on. Because if it does now, this is a bit of a bull flag. And if it, if you do get that breakout there, you could be looking at XRP pumping to sort of $1.70 mark uh, over, the, over the next day, uh, so to speak. So do keep an eye on that. If it does start to roll over, okay, and don't forget this is the hourly time frame here. If it does start to roll over, do anticipate it bounces and holds support off the EMAs, especially the 55, because if it starts to fall through this red line just here, if you do start to see it fall through that, the red line is below this 0618, and that will be the throwback pattern, which I've just told you about, okay? So, so far, so good, brilliant. And hopefully, if we zoom out on the 4-hourly again, we look at the 4-hourly, hopefully now, you know, th th this is this next wave going up, and we have formed this A, B, C correction right there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because no one wants it to go down there, do they really? No one wants that because it's a bloodbath for all cryptos. Not you know, it just doesn't happen to XRP, it happens to every 
every crypto is it's a major correction basically so yeah so far so good but you've always got to have all targets in mind okay and hopefully you know by tomorrow we've made more progress we're above this level if you start seeing xrp get above that one dollar 65 wow that's really really good that's really golden okay but like i said to you you don't want to start seeing it get too overextended because what happens when it starts getting overextended it rolls doesn't it, it rolls over because it's getting too far away from the emas you're getting big gaps it's look look at the big gap there okay so right now it's looking relatively healthy isn't it for continuation yeah because if if xrp right now does get through these levels and, and this is the next impulsive wave up you are looking at a two dollar 73 token for xrp over the next sort of week if we can continue to make progress so that's really really good okay really good and i would imagine that would bring a lot of confidence in the market to xrp and sort of get on with its bull run so to speak because it has been delayed it has been a slow starter because like i said to you if i'm going to bring up the weekly on uh, xrp and show you our targets okay our future targets again for xrp just to remind you of what we're looking at here for for xrp so basically um made this video a very long time ago and you can see the xrp's just have been a little bit lackluster and it's come to the party a little bit late i mean look at ethereum it's already, already broken its previous high and it's now marching on towards the 141 extension it's right it's right up there bitcoin's already got to the 1618 so it's had its bull run not saying it's not going to continue for bitcoin and ethereum but they're sort of they've had their party already and xrp's not really got going it has got going in a sense where it's it's broken out of this bullish cross on the weekly formed in november the big buy and go to the beach signal and it started to march on and get through these levels of resistance back to some support and marching on marching on but if it can continue now you're looking at a fantastic fantastic uh time for xrp honestly it's going to get really really good really good so hopefully abc correction done we're not going to come down to that particular deep level there that we, we was anticipating and again we always show you everything in the channel uh because if we did come down to there that that's your sort of multi-year uh level of resistance right there which is not necessarily back to support and I've, I've i've told you i do like to see back to support moving forward just like when xrp was up here overextended it gone through the 0786 on the weekly i said it's overextended it's not back tested the golden ratio and i said to you it needs to roll over and that's where you need to put some bids in for xrp and it did it rolled over bang look at that target met and ever since then it's been marching on but but we are in this wave two correction and within that you do have that a b c correction so it's still not off the table this is why you need to break that higher high for xrp on the on the four hourly time frame now we'll jump back to xrp and this is why you need to see xrp take out that high because that invalidates that extra large a b c correction okay and we don't want that to be honest with you we want to march forward now and get on with the show don't we so yeah that's xrp that's today's update looking relatively good okay for continuation like i said to you keep an eye on them emas on the on the hourly and the four hourly that they don't get a little bit too overextended as xrp marches onwards and upwards this slowdown and level of consolidation that's going through there uh, is is perfectly healthy as well as long as it don't roll back and create something called a throwback which i've just gone through you through with you it's looking good xrp onwards and upwards fingers crossed okay so yeah take care everyone stay strong stay safe and most importantly stay tuned and i'll be back tomorrow with another update on xrp bye bye